What is up, New World? We're just Game Master Coaching here, plopping out another New World money making video for you guys. Today, I have spent about, I want to say about two weeks finding some different methods to making some cash that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's hop into this. So I wanted to start this video off with the easiest thing first, and that's going to be your refining mats, um, all of your cooldown mats. So Asmodium, Runic Leather, Phoenix Weave, and Glittering Ebony are all going to go up quite a bit in price. Um, this is due to the new bags that are coming in, um, which increases buff duration on your foods and stuff like that. Um, and then the upgraded tools where you can start getting moats and things like that from uh, harvesting or mining or whatever. Um, and then with the update of the Golden Scarab, being able to actually um, make the two perker items, there's going to be a lot of people using their mats for that stuff. And then also there is a new armor that uh, does poison resist um, the Chitlin clothes um, that will be using those same mats as well. So because of all that, all these mats are going to skyrocket in price. I wanted to share with you guys that these are going up in price. So being able to stockpile these um, with that, the prices of your um, tier five mats like Cinnabar, Tolbium, Smolder Hide, Scar Hide, Scale Cloth, Blister Weave, uh, Wildwood, Barbine, those are going to probably go up as well. So keep an eye on that. And then your tier five mats like uh, or Calcum, um, your leather, your cloth, and your uh, wood. All of those are gonna be going up a little bit. So keep an eye on that so that that way you guys can make money on that. That is the first and simplest method um, of making money uh, that you can prepare for. Um, with this update and these uh, new, the ability with the Golden Scarab, the other thing that is going to increase is all of your timeless shards, um, jewelry, weapons, and your armor. All will use three timeless shards to make those instead of just one. Um, and also with that, your uh, attribute mats are gonna go up as well. So your constitution mat, Iron Guardsman, the Strength one, the Dex one, the Ent one, because people are gonna be, it uses, so before, whenever you use Timeless Shards, it would use 10, and with these, it's going to use 25. So it's almost double plus um, of those mats that you're gonna need. So keep an eye on that as well, because those will be something that will be making quite a bit of money as people start making this armor. Uh, the next money making method I wanted to talk about it has to do with food. The ability to make money if you have chef sets or chef trophies is going to go up quite a bit. Um, so if you don't have those chef sets, I would suggest getting those as soon as you can. Um, but the first thing is Vial of sus Suspended Azoth. Um, those are gonna go up quite a bit in price. They're used in uh, one of the new food crafts called the Desert Sunrise, which actually reduces the amount of dot damage you take. The Vial of Suspended Azoth is uh, used in the Heart Runes as well. But if you can stack up on those Vials of Azoth, that is gonna help you massively. The next thing it has to do with the new food buffs that are coming out. They will give you 40 stats. Um, so before the Sumptuous Rabbit was 40 con for 40 minutes, um, they're coming out with new recipes that do 40 of every single stat and it's all for 60 minutes. So these are gonna be pretty big. And with that, the resources used in those are gonna go up in price quite a bit. Some of those resources are already quite a bit, um, but as people start making these new foods, it's gonna go up even more. So I'm gonna go through these really quick. I'll show you kind of an overview too of a Excel document that I made um, for that. But uh, tomatoes will be going up in price. Tomatoes are used in three of those different uh, recipes. Uh, onions are going to be going up. The uh, onions are used in four of those different recipes. Parsley will be going up. They're used in three of those different recipes. Corn will be going up. It's used in two of those recipes. And then peppercorn will be going up as well, which is used in four different recipes. Um, so one of the next ones, squash, um, is kind of something to keep an eye on. It could be going up quite a bit. It's used in one of those recipes and then honey, two of these recipes as well. So those are some of the basic ingredients that you can gather right now to kind of get ready for this. Um, some of them will already make you money because they're already at a really good price. Like onions are already at $24 per. Um, so you can start making money on that now or you can wait, hold off and then make even more money whenever this update comes out. With this, these new foods, there's an ingredient that's used in every single one of these um, called fish sauce. And to make a fish sauce, you actually need two fish roe um, and two delicate fish fillets and then a fish oil. So 
fish roe and delicate fish fillets are going to be insane on the market right now fish roe and my server is already at 64 dollars per um, and they're not even being used yet so i wanted to throw that out there for you guys um, a lot the fish row the delicate fish fillets and the fish oil you can all get from pretty much a, like the same fish or the same fishing spots um, I can come out with a video on what run I'm doing right now if you guys end up wanting that so uh, just let me know in the comments below if you guys want that route and I can actually let you guys see that we'll move out of food and we'll move into um, items that come from the heart runes so you got Runestone, or uh, for the second tier, Heartstone, um, you're going to be using 15 Runestone. And that's just to make, that's just to try out the three different tier two Runestones. Um, so that's 15 per person, um, depending on how many people want to get really in depth with these uh, Heartstones or these Heart Runes. Um, which I bet is going to be a lot of people trying out these builds. So being able to make money from Runestone is going to be insane. Um, that's just with the base tier 2, making the base tier 2, and then Corrupted Lodestone with the base tier 2 is 15 as well. So those, um, the price for right now for Runestone is 278 on my server, and the price for Corrupted Lodestone is around 400 per on my server. So the ability to make a pretty significant amount of money on these for the long haul because of the amount of these used and the amount of people on a server is going to be crazy. And then the next thing I wanted to go into to add on to that is the tier 3. So in the tier three, there's three different forms for each um, different one. So right, stone form has three different uh, tier three heart runes, um, and they all have quite a bit of stuff that is um, that you need to make inside of those. So the the most notable things to make money are pristine sapphires which people are going to need 60 of those if they want to try out every rune stone. Corrupted Lodestone, just to make all three different types, is going to be an added 25 to that other 15. 40 total Corrupted Lodestones that they'll need. Uh, Vials of Suspended Azoth, you're going to need 200 of that. And then there are special resources, Thorny Vines, which you're going to need 3,000. Feathers, which will need 3,000. And then Saltpeter, which will need 3,000. Um, thorny Vines are pretty, pretty easy to get um, outside of Windward. There's a spot where it's like super, super easy. The actual uh, barb Vines spawn pretty, pretty easily or pretty quickly. Um, so you can literally run from one to another and the other ones will be back up. So that's uh, pretty easy on that. Uh, the Feathers. Um, you can obviously go out and kill turkeys, but from what I found out, going to the turkey nests um, is actually way better. You end up getting like 20, I don't know, 20 something feathers per turkey nest. So if you can get a good run going on that, um, it's going to help you out massively. And then saltpeter, I got a cave that I usually get saltpeter from. You can do weapon leveling and also just the saltpeter spawns pretty quickly as you go through one time. Um, usually the small nodes will be up on the second time around and then the big ones will be back up on the third time around. So you can obviously do that for um, getting saltpeter. But right now the thorny vines are going for like 325, um, which I see those going up quite a bit. Feathers will be, uh, there's quite a bit of feathers on the server right now that I'm in. So check your server, check, uh, check how many are like how. So as you go from the top of the, um, the price pool, when it comes to like any of these resources, you can look and see um, like a comparison. So you need 3,000, one person's gonna need 3,000 feathers. So you look through this and you see, okay, how many 3,000s are inside of the quantity um, to see how much this is kind of gonna go up in price over time as people need these. And it'll kind of give you a grid of, is it gonna be worth your time to actually go out and get these um, or not? Uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys so that you see that. Um, feathers, saltpeter is at like almost a dollar per on my server. And then pristine sapphires are like at 98, almost a hundred dollars uh, on my server per. So all of these are gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty neat uh, ways for you to make money. And the ability to actually um, make a route with these because a lot of these different resources are inside the same route. So like Morningdale or um, Restless Shore, there's, there's a lot of uh, like the corn, the peppercorn, uh, squash, uh, a lot of these things connect with one another um, that you can end up making a route. So use New World Database, try and uh, get as much of these things together as one time so you can make the most out of your time to make money um, and, and kind of chain, uh, chain these things together. Whether that's fishing, 
um, fishing and harvesting or, or whatever. So these are some things that I have been preparing myself to make some cash. I wanted to share this stuff with you guys so that you are not left in the dust when it comes to making money in this next update. And even right now, being able to start making some money right now with some of these items. So I want to throw that out there for you guys. I hope this stuff helps you guys massively. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you slap that like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.